She looks terrific. She shouldn't be ashamed at all. She how do you, how do you think that would work? Well, Probably, Probably not. not. No, not. <laughs> I'm just guessing no here, but you know. I need more up. of a one piece, a full body one piece. <laughs> yes, with a wrap. <laughs> all right, ladies, you know what it's time for, don't you? All right, Lena. Rich's Weather School. Okay. Easy A. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take it. That's better than what Jeff did with us. Right. Jeff uh, won't sing uh, it. Jeff won't sing it at all. So. He'll say the easy A part, that, but he won't sing it. Yeah, that's very good. All right, so let's talk about uh, last week we covered lift, and, and last week I told you there was different kinds of lift. We talked about solar heating last week where it heats the Earth's surface and the, and the uh, clouds rise to a point where they reach their condensation level, and that, uh, creating some lift gives us some, uh, ki some kind of uh, uh, ringing out of rain here in Southern California. So let's Let's talk about another kind of lift today. Let's just draw in. I know it's really bad drawing, but those are mountains, and let's label it that way. We're going to talk about a couple of things here so that you know what's going on. These are any of the mountains here in Southern California and the foothill communities. So uh, we've got uh, cloud cover coming in. We've got a storm coming in this weekend. So the cloud cover starts blowing in off the Pacific, and it starts moving in toward the mountains. This could be the Santa Monica mountain range. It could be the San Gabriels. It doesn't matter. As the clouds get close to the mountain, they naturally have to ride up and over over the mountains. So as they ride up and over or try to get up and over these mountains, they reach their level of condensation, their uh, condensate their, their lift level, their condensation lift level and and once it reaches this level, these mountains, the every all the moisture inside it condenses and that's where we get some rainfall a lot more rainfall we're down here in the flatlands let's say we're expecting a quarter of an inch of rain up here uh, and on the foothills we're looking at about three quarters of an inch of rain so that's called orographic uplift and orographic uplift is just one of three different ways to get lift here in Southern California and wring out some rain. So when we're talking about the basin, uh, receiving about a quarter of an inch in foothills and mountain communities, doubling that, this is the reason why, orographic uplift. All right, let's take a look at the graphics and I'll show you what's going on with regard to these storms. Bottom of your screen, you can see an area of low pressure. It's starting to move in as we speak and I'll stop it at about 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Start to see a smattering of rainfall back into motion by 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. We're starting to see fairly deep Recent rainfall along the coast. This is the first of two storms, the Thursday and Friday storm. Here comes the Saturday and Sunday storm. It starts moving in and look at the rainfall that envelops Southern California as really this, these two areas of low pressure really open up a massive trough for us and we're really going to get some rain out of this thing. The second storm, much more rain than the first. There's your extended outlook for the next seven days. Temperatures are dropping tremendously. We hit 88 for the daytime high today. We're talking 60s and low 70s tomorrow and 60s for everybody as we we head through the weekend. Ladies, back to you.